Hi guys, it's Jason here from Head First. It's been a minute since uh, I've posted any kind of DIY video or kind of educational thing, so I thought it was high time that I did. Uh, I recently completed a mod on the JCM800 that you saw right just for the intro of this video. And uh, I've been doing a kind of, with these Marshall mods that I do between Head First builds, um, the most recent ones have been kind of on the high gain side, you know what I mean? So, um, I have found that people are really enjoying adding an extra gain stage to the thing, right? So the title of this video was, well, three stages is good, but it's four stages better. The JCM 800, the 2203 circuit, uh, that we know and love is a three gain stage plus cathode follower circuit, a classic and three gain stages can be modded actually to be pretty high gain, like very high gain actually. Um, you can do that by, you know, really kind of um, amping up how much gain the second gain stage in the circuit delivers. And you can add things like Jose style diodes and stuff like that, right, to give a lot of compression and gain. But adding an extra gain stage in these circuits is super fun and gives more flexibility i think in terms of how you kind of tune and voice uh the entire amp to deliver the kind of tone that you're after now the tone that we did in this particular mod uh the owner of the amp already has a vortex mod uh, that i did for him so he wanted something um similar level of gain but a, a different style so um I look to preserve some of the core tones of the 800, the 2203 circuit in this mod. What I wanted to talk about though, is I'm going to show you a kind of, it's just an approach that, that I take with these 800 style amps where you have a high input jack and a low input jack. And essentially in a stock 800 or a 2203, the high input is three gain stages, the low is two. What I do when I add an extra gain stage is I reconfigure that so that the uh, the high input is four gain stages and the low input is three gain stages. So when you're in the low input, you have effectively the same thing as you had in the stock amp if you're in the high in terms of gain stages anyway. So we're going to look at a schematic um, that I am have drawn on my iPad here and I'm going to kind of in real time um, make some adjustments to this and uh, give you guys a bit of an, an, an insight into how I kind of go about adding this gain stage and wiring it in, right? This is not going to be a video where we go on the bench and kind of show you, you know, resistors and soldering and all this kind of stuff, right? This is more of a kind of a theory thing where we just look at the schematic and kind of like, you know, uh, orientate ourselves around what's happening there. So I'm flicking now to this front end of a 2203 um, that I have drawn in um, on my iPad here. And if you can see here, uh, right at the entry here, this is the high input jack, okay? And if you just follow along from left to right, uh, it's a 68K grid stopper on that first gain stage, right? So what I'm drawing here, that arrow, that's our first triode, okay? So that's our first, um, that's the first gain stage. And uh, it's a 68K grid stopper into the, into the input of that. And we've got a 100K plate resistor above it, right? Up here, and that is connected to the horizontal line over the top there is the uh, the B plus right so that's the voltage supply um, for the triode and all I, all I've done here guys is this is just a stop two two o three right there's there's nothing there's nothing magical here at the moment um, the cathode setup for this triode is a two K seven hundred point six eight microfarad bypass cap standard twenty two nanofarad coupling cap and you can see what we come into here. And I've got it labeled low. That's the low input jack, right? So that's a switched jack. So when 
uh, your guitar is um, not plugged into the jack, the signal passes straight through it. Okay, when you plug the cable into that low input jack, it then interrupts um, the flow of the signal. And that's rep represented there in the schematic. Um, so when there's nothing plugged in, it just goes straight through and it goes into the 470 picofarad, 470k network there and then into the gain pot, which is a one meg audio gain pot, one nanofarad bright cap, and then into the grid of the second gain stage. Okay, so uh, reconfigure this diagram real quick and we'll come back and I'll show you kind of how I um, set up that extra gain stage in front. <laughs> So let me just um, make these changes on the schematic in real time here, right? So I'm just going to go and draw straight in to my diagram here. So what I want to do is I want to kind of move where the low and the high input jacks are wired. So as I said, we get four gain stages and three gain stages rather than three and two. So effectively, I'm going to get just rid of that notation there and I want um the high input here to now it's going to be the low okay so you can imagine when you actually physically do this this is this will be the the low input jack that you'll be wiring to effectively what you would do is you'd wire straight out of that coupling cap you just come straight into this network here now this is where like once you've kind of get the amp up and running you can do things to voice uh, how the preamp is sounding, right? So you, if you find that, you know, it's too bright, then maybe, you know, you, you'll eliminate this um, this cap here. Or you might get rid of that resistor completely and you might watch straight to the gain pot, you know? For example, see how you go, right? I mean, this is kind of like the fun of working on these circuits and creating something unique and something you know that you've done yourself it's lots of fun so what are we going to do so to put an extra gain stage in one of these amps and you've seen me do this uh with lots of mods i've t talked about and shown on the channel is we do drill an extra 12ax7 into the front end of the chassis and we're just using one triode in that right so all the schematic will show here is one triode um, so this plate resistor here uh, is just connected to the same B plus, right? The same node supply that um, that the old V1 was using, you know, the first gain stage. And depending on again how much compression you want, I might try a 220k here, maybe even a little bit higher. Depends can work pretty well on this first gain stage to put a plates number in as well. It can help with oscillation and it can help to keep that high end kind of under control. On the cathode, I tend to stick with these mods. I tend to stick with the Marshall setup because, you know, we are, we're striving to create a modded Marshall kind of, you know, uh, tone here. So the points... 6.8 microfarad bypass cap with a 2k7 cathode resistor is pretty classic Marshall and when you cascade those gain stages it'll deliver the kind of thing that you're looking for. Coupling cap out of this first gain stage now, this new gain stage, I would always go with something pretty skinny like that. 0.0022 microfarad, so that's 2.2 nanofarad. 
Okay. And so from there, you're going to come out of that cap. And I'm actually just going to move this notation out the way because where I've drawn it there is not really going to not going to help <laughs> for what what I need to draw in the rest of this diagram. You can't just feed the output of this gain stage straight in to this input to this low input jack and hope that it'll work. Right? It's too much gain. You like this is when you get you your amp will just go straight into blocking distortion. It'll sound really bad, right? So we need to set up. Um, a voltage divider here. What a voltage divider is, is it attenuates the signal. It's just like a gain pot, right, or a volume pot, but it's fixed. Um, so we'll draw that in, right, so we're going to have two resistors that look like this, and they go to ground, and off the midpoint, it connects into that low input jack on this on the switched side so when again when there's nothing plugged into the low input jack that signal will go all the way through now i'll come back to this voltage divider here in a second of course we need to get our signal into this gain stage you might prefer a 33k there 68k is kind of like i'm just drawing that in because that's kind of the standard marshall thing in the in the 2203s the 800s here i'm running out of room here guys but this is just our um this is our high input jack right here okay draw that in goes to ground sorry for the wiggly lines um okay and uh I follow my convention here and this is high in red okay this voltage divider so i'm back talking about what's going on after this first new gain stage so we're coming out of the first gain stage got the 220k plate 2k7 cathode with the 0.68 and as i said we need to we need to attenuate the signal down um because you know we're now driving into what is going to be a four gain stage circuit and um if you go too hard on this stuff too early your your preamp is just going to get it's going to get out of control it's going to sound really bloated and it's going to get really heavy in the bottom end real quick and more than likely it's going to go into blocking distortion it's just going to sound awful so we need to attenuate the signal and we do that with a fixed resistor set up a voltage divider and again you can play with these values right and kind of experiment and see where you end up but i will use something like in this kind of setup a one meg here and maybe an 82k okay you can play with this right you can go like an 820 and a 56k and, and so on and so forth the smaller the value, right? So if you look at that ratio of one meg to eighty-two k, you're setting up a ratio that the your signal is going to be attenuated by. You can keep the same ratio, but drop the value of the resistors down. So you could have, you know, a hundred k and and eight point two k, for example. Um, try it, right? What'll actually happen is the signal will be attenuated, but you'll also be lopping off bottom end because you'll be lo you'll be loading down that cap that's coming out of that gain stage and creating a high pass filter um but yeah just try try the one meg to 82k see how you go right um have a play with the rest of the circuit once you try this um and you get that extra gain stage going out in front of a 2203 style circuit it's awesome right i mean it's a bit like this is this is similar to you know the trick that you would do uh, you probably still do already today, which is put a tube screamer or something, a boost, a mid booster or something in front of a JCM800, and it's that classic sound, right? We'll do it with a, a triode with the tube gain stage. It's amazing, right? Hope this was useful, helpful, maybe insightful. <laughs> Who knows, right? Anyway, guys, I will uh, try to keep some of these DIY and kind of you know knowledge sharing videos going thanks for tuning into the channel
and um, I'll see you again soon.